So my goal with Silence the Shame is really simple. It's to start the conversation. It's to get people to stop being embarrassed, you know, stop feeling like something is wrong with them and that they don't have support in the world. Granted, uh, a lot of the mental health facilities are costly, and I think that's probably part of the reason why so many of our homeless community, you know, go untreated or, you know, parents just don't have, you know, some families just don't have the same amount of funding as other families to get the proper treatment. But if we start the conversation and we start to make sure that we're supporting these causes and making sure that laws and, you know, bills are getting passed, you know, in your respective states, that we can increase the funding, that we can increase the research and that we can increase the help that's out there. I believe we need to have more opportunities for people to to share their stories uh, in order to change what's going on with mental health. I believe we can help people by uh, groups like this being able to just speak about it and, and not be ashamed of it. And, and you know, we've all dealt with it, whether it's ourselves personally, people in our family, people we know, people we love, uh, and those stories, you know, help us transition, help us uh, grow in this space to where not only will it help the people who are actually going through it, but it'll help the people who are actually perpetuating uh, the the lack of knowledge on these issues that kind of make them shameful. Yo, what up, though? It's your boy, Jeezy. That's right, the big homie. And I think it's time that we start the conversation to silence the shame. Y'all pay attention. Depression, suicide, anxiety, bipolar, more and more every day, so many of us struggle with these. It's time that we start talking about it. Start the conversation today and silence the shame.